Welcome to Savuma Turkey YouTube channel. Bayraktar TB3 unmanned combat aerial vehicle developed by Baykar Company performed its endurance flight test with its 13th test flight. TB3 UCAV broke a new record by flying for a total of 32 hours in the endurance flight test. When we look at the endurance flight tests of similar medium altitude long endurance unmanned systems, it is seen that TB2 UCAV stayed in the air for 27 hours, Axengor UCAV for 50 hours, and Anka UCAV for 30 hours. Bayraktar TB3 UCAV developed by Turkish Baykar Company, took off at 9.15 in the morning on December 19, 2023, exactly 32 hours later, landed on the runway at 17.15 on the afternoon of December 20, 2023. The endurance test flight carried out at Akinci Flight Training and Test Center in Chorlu district of Tekirda City. The prototype testing phase of Bayraktar TB3 is still continuing. New Turkish UCAV, which made its maiden flight on October 27, 2023, went through successive performance tests and finally successfully completed the endurance flight test, where system and endurance performance were measured. In the latest test flight held at Akinci Flight Training and Test Center, Bayraktar TB3 took off with its PD-170 engine developed locally by Tusa's Engine Industries TE and spent in flight for 32 hours at an average altitude of 20,000 feet. Bayraktar TB3, the new record holder of the Baykar UAV family, covered a total of 5,700 kilometers in the sky during its 32-hour flight. In the previous flight test, where the system performance was measured at medium altitude, TB3 flied for a total of 12 hours. It is aimed that Bayraktar, TB3 UCAV, will have the ability to take off and land from short runway ships, such as TCG Anadolu with its foldable wing structure. Baykar, chairman of the board and chief technology officer Selchik Bayraktar, announced that they plan to start the tests of Bayraktar TB3 on the TCG Anadolu ship in 2024. The capabilities of Bayraktar TB3 will be a significant breakthrough for unmanned aerial vehicles in this class. TB3 will also have beyond-line-of-sight satellite communication capability, allowing it to be controlled from very long distances. Thus, it will be able to perform reconnaissance, surveillance, intelligence, and attack missions against targets with the smart ammunition it carries. According to the 2021 and 2022 data of the Turkish Exporters Assembly, Baykar Company is the export leader in the defense and aerospace industry. Baykar achieved 99.3% exports in the contracts it signed in 2022, reaching $1.2 billion in exports. Export agreements have been signed with 32 countries for Bayraktar TB to UCAV, and with eight countries so far for Bayraktar Akinci UCAV. Savuma Turkey's comment on the issue is as follows. According to the data published on Baker's official website, the TB3 UCAV is larger than the TB2 UCAV. It has a length of 8.3 meters, a height of 2.6 meters, and a wingspan of 14 meters. In contrast, the TB2 has a length of 6.5 meters, a height of 2.2 meters, and a wingspan of 12 meters. Not just that, the new TB3 UCAV has a payload capacity of 280 kilograms, which is significantly higher than the payload capacity of TB2 at 150 kilograms. The TB3's maximum takeoff weight is 1,450 kilograms, almost double of TB2's 700 kilograms. The TB3 towers over the TB2 in its cruising speed. While the TB2 can travel at a maximum speed of 70 to 120 knots, the TB3 can cruise at 125 to 160 knots. This is a massive improvement if the official specifications published by the manufacturer are anything to go by. By the 13th test, one area where the TB2 excels is endurance. TB2 UCAV has an endurance of 27 hours. On the other hand, according to the official website, it was stated that TB3 had an endurance of more than 24 hours. After the latest testing, TB3 has taken the lead in this area as well. In summary, TB3 UCAV is an improved TB2 UCAV, larger, heavier, and with better performance. TB2 has an international engine, and can reach a maximum speed of 70 to 120 knots with this engine. On the other side, TB3 can reach a speed of 125 to 160 knots 
with the PD-170 engine developed locally by TUSA's Engine Industries Tay. The significant speed difference between the two UCAVs shows that the local PD-170 engine makes a significant contribution to the TB3 UCAV's performance. Tay is currently working on the PD-222 engine, which is an improved version of the PD-170 engine. The dimensions of the PD-170 and PD-222 engines are very close to each other. In this context, it is thought that the PD-222 engine can be quickly integrated into TB3 UCAV, and if the PD-222 engine is integrated into TB3 UCAV, it can provide a significant performance increase in TB3. Another important reason why TB3 UCAV has higher performance than TB2 UCAV is that TB3 has retractable landing gear. While TB2 is constantly exposed to air friction caused by its wheels during flight, TB3 is not exposed to this friction effect. Of course, TB3 UCAV has to carry the mechanism of retractable landing gear as an additional load. However, Thanks to the increase in maximum takeoff weight performance supported by the new PD-170 engine, this is no longer a problem. TB3 UCAVs are planned to be operational on the TCG Anadolu ship. So far, only AH-1W Cobra attack helicopters and S-60 Seahawk utility helicopters are operating in TCG Anadolu. TCG Anadolu is a multi-configuration ship. When in amphibious operation configuration, the ship can carry a marine battalion and their tanks and armored vehicles. However, in the naval air operation configuration, it is stated that the ship can carry between 30 and 50 TB3 UCAVs. In order to facilitate the movements of TB3 UCAV within the TCG Anadolu ship, and to deploy the maximum number of UCAV on the ship, TB3 was designed with foldable wings. In naval aviation, the foldable wing is a common feature. The planes are kept in the hangar area with folding wings, and when they are on the flight deck, their wings return to normal. Then their ammunition is loaded and they are sent to the mission. Baykar, chairman of the board and chief technology officer Selchik Bayraktar announced that they are planning to start tests, for TB3 on the TCG Anadolu ship in 2024. Considering the level TB3 UCAV has reached in test flights, Selchik Bayraktar's 2024 target is not seen as a distant target. In this context, it can be assessed that main tests for TB3 will actually start next year. It is thought that the TB3 UCAVs will begin testing on the ground in an area resembling the TCG Anadolu flight deck, before the tests on TCG Anadolu ship. Our video in which we examine the Bayraktar TB3 unmanned combat aerial vehicle, developed locally by Turkey S. Baykar Company, ends here. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please leave a like, it really helps our channel. You can use the comment section to express your opinions about our videos or ask your questions. If you want to continue receiving videos on defense issues, you can subscribe. See you in the next video of the Savuma Turkey channel. Goodbye.